What up, YouTube? What's up, guys? I hope you guys all find yourself in great health and in good spirits. Still here at home, guys. Like, uh, today's uh, day 37 of quarantine. Uh, just doing my part, staying home, guys. Um, I wanted to give you guys some updates on the things that we've been up to as far as uh, the, the loans go. Remember, last I spoke to you guys, I had gotten a 5K advance. That's all I've gotten, guys. Uh, I still haven't, I still haven't, uh, uh, qualified yet for the PPP loan. Still doing my part, doing, uh, submitting my paperwork to them. Uh, just waiting on them. It's kind of difficult because they're not, um, they're not responding. It's kind of, uh, you can't call them or talk to anybody. It's all done through emails. So it's very difficult. And I, I, I at some point, I think I'm messing up not submitting the right paperwork, but I, I haven't been able to get qualified altogether yet. So uh, as far as that, that's the only thing. Uh, unemployment still hasn't come through yet. I haven't got nothing. I supposedly I qualified, but you know, as far as I heard, I heard that on the, on, on the 28th of this month, we all have to, if you're going to apply, it's called federal unemployment. So we might be able to get something through them. And that's starting on uh, the 28th. I, I, that's what I heard. We're supposed to reapply through that. But um, I'll keep you guys updated on that thing. And But other than that, guys, just here at home doing nothing. Um, this week, I'm going to go to the shop. And I'm about to start uh, uh, doing some cleanup over there. Um, getting it ready. Because I have a feeling that we're going to be going back to work pretty quick. Probably here in California, I know probably May 15th. That's what I'm, that's what I've been hearing a lot. So, um, I'm, I'm shooting for May 15th, May 27th around there. So probably one more month, guys. One more month here at home. So, um, just buckle in, settle in and, and, and do your part, guys. But I already heard in other states like Georgia, they're already opening up. So. You know, uh, I, I, it is what it is. Uh, you know, good luck to them, guys. You know, it's, it's, if they got to get back to work, they got to get back to work. I, I'm anxious to get back to work myself, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm super anxious to get back to work. But I know that our system's going to change when we go back. There's going to be different things that we're going to have to implement. There's going to be, uh, we're all going to have to probably wear face masks. Uh, our clients are going to have to wear face masks. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to have to go to appointments from now on. Um, I, I heard a system, somebody talk, talking about their own system they developed, and it seemed pretty good. It, it seemed like um, what they were going to do is if people came to the door, uh, uh, for walk-ins, what they're going to do is they're going to, if there's a barber available, then they can sit right down right away. If not, then they're going to have to get a slot given to them and they're going to have to come back for that time, either wait in their car or go home and come back at a certain time. Um, if that's the new system, that's going to be, it's definitely going to change the way we all work now because some of us that have like myself, I have a walk-in shop where people could just walk in. It's totally going to change the way everything is, but that's a different story, guys. Um, we'll have to face that fact when it comes up, but right now you got to start thinking about what you're going to do at your shop. How are you going to, if you're a shop owner, how is your shop going to run when you get back? How, what, what, are, what are you going to do different? So we all have to get, start thinking about that stuff now, prepare yourself because you know, the opening of our shops is coming up and, um, hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there and doing your part guys. Um, at the end of this vlog right here, I'm just going to drop, a, I actually uploaded, I'm going to upload my very first vlog I ever did as a, on this channel. It's actually vlog number one. Um, it's actually kind of interesting because of the way I talk and everything. I was uh, a little bit, you know, that was the first time I ever really jumped in front of the camera. So it's kind of interesting, but I'm going to add it to the end of this, to the end of this vlog. So if you guys want to stick around and listen to that, uh, you know, give me your, give me your opinion on what you guys think about it and what, how I am now as far as vlogging. But guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Do, you know, do your part guys. Do, uh, get on some, watch some tutorials, you know, help out, you know, just, but stay home, guys. Stay home. If you guys are mandated to go back to work yet, then um, I suggest you guys stay home and just be safe. Take care of your families. You know, it's time to bond with those families. That's for sure. This is a great time right now because we're all home and just taking care of our, our, our own. But, guys, with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys later. What up, YouTube? My name is Al. Al Ovio. But you can call me Big Al. And today is day one of my vlogs. I'm here to tell a story of my barber life, being a shop owner and a master barber. I am a third generation barber. My grandfather was a barber. My dad was a barber. I am a barber now. Uh, my daughter is a barber, so she's fourth generation. I'm third generation barber in our family. 
Uh, our family goes back way in the tensorial arts, back to the... I think my grandfather became a barber in the 40s, so we've been in the, in the business for a lot of years. My earliest uh, memories of barber shops was when I was a child, I used to go to my grandfather's barber shop and um, get haircuts by him. And I, and I remember being being there frequently or sometimes we just go there to hang out with my dad he'd go visit his dad his father and my grandfather or i remember just going down there to help him sweep uh, i was very young at that time so i had their very small memories but i have a lot of memories i remember my grandfather used to cut my hair i remember my grandfather used to cut my hair and my mom didn't like the way he cut our hair um Cause he he used to, he used to, he used to give us some short haircuts and at that time it, it just wasn't you know they didn't like I, they my mom didn't like it, but I remember going to the barber shop at a very young age you know and then um, when I reached my my teen years and my late early twenties we used to go to my my uncle who is my barber mentor my uncle Bob he he uh, he's the one that gave me my first job as a barber and he, we used to always go to him for haircuts and he. It was funny because he would never charge us, you know, he was family, so he never charged us. But we used to have to wait. If somebody, if, if they was paying customers, we'd have to wait till then. So it was funny. We show up, there'd be one customer waiting. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. But then another customer would show up and he would make us literally wait till that customer was over. So as I got older, I said, you know what, Unc? I'll pay for my haircut, but I don't want to wait no more. You know, I want my haircut, you know. But it, it's just a funny, it's a funny uh, uh, story and a funny growing up in barbershops. And having family, always going to barbers, you know, it, it's part of the barber life. So that was a short trip that I take every morning to my barbershop, Big Al's Barbershop. My shop's located in the city of Azusa. Uh, the video clip you guys saw right there, that's most of my crew, uh, minus my daughter and Tony. Uh, I got set, six barbers that work for me. We're open seven days a week. Uh, I claim to be open 300. Um, we're only closed two days a year. So uh, I'm sure we missed a couple of other days there or here and there. But that's my shop right there. Uh, let me introduce my other better half, my future barber wife. Hi guys. So um, we're right here. Uh, today is Wednesday, January 17th. And uh, my days off are Tuesday and Wednesday. So today is one of my days off. Uh, if any of you guys out there that are barbershop owners or you know, you know how it is on your days off you really don't get to rest you kind of just running around everywhere doing things here and there for the shop or always or about the shop so that's that's the the max of my day on my day off just running around and doing whatever i gotta do but tomorrow's another day and tomorrow i'm back to work tomorrow we're back in the shop
What up, guys? So right now it's probably uh, it's 11, 11 a.m. Uh, right now it's uh, we're about a third of the way through our day. I'm about four cuts in. Beautiful day today. I'm out here at the bank. Uh, when you're a shop owner, you got to go to the bank a lot. I, I go to the bank at least once a day. Usually once a day I go get change. Uh, just have everything ready, prepped for my for my team right there. So I always have change. I, I, one thing I hate is is when somebody comes to the shop and we don't have enough change. That's just, it's bad customer service. So it's something I always stay up on top. And one of the reasons why I always go to the bank too is it's, just, it's my little break time. So when I go to the bank, I, it's just a little way to get out of the shop and clear my head and get back in there and get back on the grind, you know? You know, I'm that barber grind. I'm going back to the shop now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So my shop's in the city of Asusa. Asusa is a, is a suburb of Los Angeles County. Uh, we're about 20 miles outside of the city of LA, a uh, town of about 100,000, 100, 150,000 people probably. Um, I've lived here all my life. I uh, moved here in 1977 with my parents and uh, I've lived here ever since. So I kind of grew up here. Uh, this is home, you know. When I wanted to open my shop, I, I, me and my, my business partner at the time, we made a choice that we're gonna do it in our own hometown, which was right here in Azusa, you know? Seemed like the right thing to do, and so far it's paid off. I mean, we've been we've, uh, we've been here eight years. We're going on nine years this year, so it, 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 it's nice having, living in the same city that you work in, put it that way. I'll give you guys a little view of the mountains right here. Real quick. The big A guys. You guys see the A up in the mountain? That's what we represent right there. Check it out. Oh man, oh man, can he be? 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 Come here, after we're done, after the haircut, okay? After we get a haircut, you go get some candy, all right? I'm just gonna give you some money for candy. You gotta get a haircut first, okay? You ready for a haircut?
What's up, guys? So, it's closing time. That's it. Time to go home. Let you guys walk me out, all right? Came in in the morning, leave it in the night.